Did you see the report um, from, uh, well, it's not a report. Greg Bishop of Sports Illustrated went on a local radio show in Seattle and said that the Seahawks and Eagles had struck a trade for Russell Wilson last year and Russell nixed it. What? And, yeah. And could you imagine wow. the difference? Could you imagine if Russell's like, sure, I'll go to Philadelphia? What different situation? Because I imagine the separate offices and all that situation that Denver set up for Russell that has since been changed with Sean Payton coming in would not have happened. And everything else that was set up. Could you imagine if Jalen Hurts wound up being flipped to Seattle? That Geno wouldn't have had his comeback player of the year moment. Geno still would have backed up, one would think. Or well, they Jalen. Would, they would have had a battle, I guess, in preseason. And, and Jalen could be the one sitting in Seattle with his new contract with the Seahawks having him. Or, I mean, just we could go on and on and on about the sliding doors of this situation. Wow. Playing the result a little bit, but do you think Philly would have been as good? Like Russ might have had a good knows? year. I don't know. That clearly the setup for you know, the clearly the the setup for him would have been as I mentioned differently off the field, but I think it would have been better on the field because he wouldn't have yeah. had not a rookie head coach, yeah, obviously. Right, a totally si- different AJ situation. AJ Brown still there. Miles Sanders still there. Goddard still there. Much better offensive pieces around him. Correct. And Jalen Hurts would have been up in Seattle. I'm assuming he would have been flipped for in the same way that Drew Locke went from right. Denver to Seattle. Sure. Oh, man. I know, right? Wow. That one. And, and it makes complete and total sense because don't forget. Remember Daniel Jeremiah told us that the Eagles were ready to draft him? Russell Wilson. Yes. Yeah. With Doug yeah. Peterson. Mm-hmm. They were ready to take him. Or Peterson wasn't there yet, I don't think. Probably not. Uh, I'm trying to there, put it all two and two together. Well, that would have been Andy Reid's last year, right? 2012. He said they were ready. They were they were trying to get Russ. They had him on their radar screen, and Seattle beat him to the punch. Just where you know would wow. Hurts have become Hurts? Would Russ had had such a a, a major problem? What would have happened with Geno? You know. Wow. Total end. That end one was stuff. a total Man. mind blown right there. But Russ said no. Russ, Nixon. Russ said no. Didn't want to. Didn't want to go to Philly. You know, hmm. he wanted to go to Denver. I, I mean, in retro, in total retrospect, but beautiful place to live, Denver. I get it. Gorgeous. Philadelphia obviously has state. its its uh, its perks, but just outside of the personal stuff, Den. I mean. He he could have been in a in a, in a conference that is absolutely less loaded, a division that's less loaded, but a situation that he wouldn't have been able to massage. Also, to 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 his to to what he wanted, to manipulate to what he wanted. I don't think he could have handled the fan and media scrutiny in Who Philadelphia. Knows? To be honest. Uh, you, I don't know. Fan and media scrutiny, Philadelphia, you win. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, but one, actually, you're you're one, one you're the king game, of you're king of forever. Game, one bad game, it's over. Like they'll just eat you alive. Where in Denver and Seattle, it's kind of like go Eagles. Whatever. Saying go go, uh, you know what Eagles Eagles country, let's fly. <laughs> yeah, what would he have done? Like a sore Eagles sore. That would have been his. <laughs> been fly Eagles fly. Fly, fly Eagles fly. fly. fly, Eagles, fly. He would have just he would have just stayed put. Beating cheese fries. I don't see Russ hanging with the cheese fries crew. Wouldn't have worked out. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.